Hello booktube and welcome back to my channel Aussie SFF and today I'm doing a top five Wednesday so today's top five is retellings in no particular order my most recent finish of a retelling is the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer this is like a bit of an uber retelling because she takes from so many different classic fairy tales to retell her sci-fi cyberpunk style book. The first book is Cinder and this opens with a part cyborg, well a cyborg girl who is treated as a slave in her family and is found to be quite attractive by a prince of the realm. So this is obviously retelling Cinderella. The next book in the series is called Scarlet. It centers around both Cinder and the prince that she's met and also the workings of a French farm girl called Scarlet and the genetically modified wolfman she falls in love with. So that one is retelling Little Red Riding Hood. The Third one in the series is Cress and this is about a girl who is unable to be affected by the Lunar People's uh, magic because she's what they term as a shell but she is a very gifted programmer and works well with computer systems so has been isolated in a satellite above the Earth by the lunar, uh, one of the lunar workers uh, who is quite high up and that is a retelling of Rapunzel. The last one, Winter, is uh, set around all of these characters. They all come together and it is a wonderful way to weave together. She does a very good job. Plus we are introduced to the character of Winter who is a Snow White style character who is the step daughter of the Lunar Queen who is an evil queen who has made a vow not to use her lunar powers and hence is going insane. All of these books are an incredible weaving of the fairy tales, some of the most fa famous fairy tales and she does a really good job weaving them all together into the single new post modern world. My next retelling is one of the biggest retellings of the last I think 15, 20 years, and that is Wicked by Gregory Maguire. This is a ongoing series of books retelling the and reimagining uh, the world of the Wicked Witch of the West and the Land of Oz. Wicked is set around the true lifestyle storytelling of the Wicked Witch of the West. In this she is called Elphaba. I think I've said that right. And I actually didn't read this book first. I read Son of a Witch first uh, because I was familiar with Gregory Maguire's work previous to the Wicked, the phenomenon that is Wicked. And again it's one of those ones where you stick it in the world of Oz and I'm gonna love it. So I actually read the first second book in the series which is Son of a Witch uh, where her son is struggling to find a place for himself in the world. So the first book is Wicked and that is set around Alphaba and her fr um, friendship with the Glenda the Good Witch at school and the proceedings that happen there. So this is pre-Dorothy coming to the land of Oz. Son of a Witch is post Dorothy's what basically gets interpreted as destruction of their world and then there is I think there's two books after that one of them being A Lion Among Men and I can't remember the fourth book because I haven't read either of those even if I have a signed copy of A Lion Among Men. Next one I've only read the first book in this series but it is the Insanity series by Cameron Jace which is a retelling and an expansion of 
Alice in Wonderland where Alice has gone mad and is being visited by different beings where actually she might not be mad people might think she's mad but she's not I love a good Alice retelling I've read many 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 different ones um, my favourite of which isn't actually a book, it is America McGee's Alice, which I've talked about previously, and the insanity she goes through to go back into to the into Wonderland after she has lost her entire family in a house fire. I've got to get back into reading the rest of that series. I bought a trilogy on Kindle. I haven't read the rest because I get overwhelmed with all my physical books. My next one is my other mention of Gregory Maguire and this is the first book of his I ever read which was Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister. I adore this book. If I was pressed to find my top one this would be it without a doubt. He has rewritten the Cinderella story to a T, set it in Holland during the influx of the tulips that were so popular at the time and it's in a merchant family who the, the mother is has the children, she is poor, she remarries into a merchant family, the father has a beautiful young daughter and she is by far and away the mo one of the most beautiful girls in all of the land. Sound familiar? <laughs> and the confessions come from what you interpret because um, they're the two daughters one of them I think she has down syndrome um, or something along those lines but she's non-verbal throughout the book and the other sister is just deemed as ugly and especially in comparison to this beautiful young girl this was probably the one of the first retellings I actually read as well this was many 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 years ago and blew me away I absolutely loved it for someone who'd grown up with revolting rhymes and those sorts of retellings where it's written as still for kids but written in a more politically correct that was right the politically correct nursery rhymes but still meant for kids this was the first retelling where it wasn't just a cleaned up version or a politically correct version it was beautiful and amazing and blew me away my next one is a graphic novel series which is the fables series this is set in the modern day in New York for a lot of it where the fables are driven out of their fable lands and worlds across dimensions to come to the Mundy world or the mundanes where they are safe from persecution by their emperor who has taken over many many of the worlds and we don't know who this is for the good first six or seven volumes this was an amazing reproduction at bringing all of the well-known fairy tales fairy tales uh all um just all fiction together and it was beautifully drawn and beautifully done and i have recently finally finished all 22 23 volumes of it and enjoyed it immensely i would recommend that to anyone who's trying to get into comics if they already love fantasy so that's it for my top five wednesday for retellings if you have any comments or some suggestions that you think i might like because of these ones please hit me up in the comments below don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much